District semifinal action all around the state of Michigan for girls basketball, including Posen squaring off against Wolverine first quarter. Kelly Thomas saves the ball from going out of bounds, but Riley Cronick comes up with a steal and is going to lay it up and in. Posen off to a fast start. Back come the Wildcats as they're going to swing the ball over the Thomas and her three pointer is nothing but net. Moments later, Wildcats swinging the ball around once again and Thomas converts for the mid-range jumper. She finished with 14 points. Here come the Vikings. Riley Cronick fires a long pass to a wide open Michaela Kamishik for an easy layup. Great vision there by the senior. Vikings down two at the half. Second half, the Vikings caught fire as Cronick buries the long ball from the corner. 30 points on the night for the senior, which is a career high and to top it all off. Cronick fires a long pass to Lizzie Romo for the easy deuce. Posen moves on as they defeated Wolverine. 58 to 50. Now Posen waits to play the winner of Onaway and Hillman. Right off the opening tip, Bria Domke tips it to Jillian Chasky. And just like that, those are the first points of the ball game. Middle of the first quarter, Julia Teratuda goes with the pump fake, dribbles, goes with her sweet spot, and nails the mid-range jumper. Six points on the night. Moments later, Ellie Crawford goes with the long pass to senior Bailey Shook, and she'll drive in and get this shot to go. Second quarter, Shook taking matter into her own hands, is able to weave her way through traffic, get the bucket, plus the foul. But back comes Onaway. Taylor Larson, well known for knocking down mid-range jumpers, is able to do so here. Nice shot there. But it wasn't enough as Hillman advances to the finals with a 42-36 victory over Onaway. Hillman will be back on their home court on Friday as they score off with Posen for a district title on the line. Now to Alpina as they're taking on Marquette towards the end of the third when Kalia Pascala hits the three. But here come the Wildcats back in transition as Allie DeRocher is just going to keep this one herself and finish at the rack. Start of the fourth and Marquette is up by 23 when Mandy Carter hits from downtown. Wildcats are trying to claw their way back when Jenna Leak is going to finish at the rack. It was all Marquette in this one as they beat the Wildcats in the district semifinal round by a score of 56 to 31. Now to the rest of the games on this Wednesday night. We had Hale taking care of Atlanta winning 40 to 17. Up next we have Mile taking down St. Helen Charlton Heston by a score of 55 to 16. This district final is set as it will be Hale taking on Mayo on Friday in Augre Sims. Moving on to the Oscoda Owls, who took down Whittemore Prescott 68 to 46. Next up, Alcona taking down Tawas in a nail biter. Woo! 40 to 38. District final is set as Oscoda will be taking on Alcona on Friday at Whittemore Prescott High School. Now, the last game for tonight out of the Ski Valley Conference, we had Johannesburg Lewiston beating Harbor Springs in a back and forth game. 42 to 37 was the final score. Tara Medej led the way with 17 points and Kennedy Johnson added 10. Johannesburg Lewiston is back in action on Friday as they play in Charlevoix in the district final.